Hi there, welcome back and welcome to a new tube radio restoration project. This one is for my subscribers who are getting a bit tired of audio amplifiers. Now this one is so special that I decided to do an unboxing, which uh, as you probably know is not normal for me. And the reason it's special is because I'm quite a fan of this brand. It's a Braun. I love the Braun radios. And um, this particular one, this is an SK2-2, is one of three in that range. And I've been trying to get one for some time, which has not been very easy. If you've seen the channel for a while, you'll have probably come across the uh, series on the Atelier 3 that I did. This one was a long series because I really loved this uh, set. It's from my birth year, 1963. So I went into quite a bit of detail there. And this small one is from the same designer, so it has the same minimalistic look. And they've become very, very popular. They've uh, gone up in price, as you can probably tell if you go and look at uh, eBay. And the reason is a lot of this series, designed by legendary designer Dieter Rams, has actually featured in the Museum of Modern Art. So it's become quite a collector's item. And uh, when you do find them, they're expensive or they're in pretty bad shape or they've been restored and they're incredibly expensive. Now this one came in with a few mishaps. The tuning dial is scratching. There's a switch there that's not original. The case itself has got quite a bit of uh, damage to it, but it's all superficial. This is a sort of plastic, so usually it gets uh, sanded down and painted anyway. And I don't think there's any damage to the plastic. The back cover has got very little damage except that uh, the right hand corner, which seems to be quite normal with these radios. Just about everyone I've seen has got a cracked right hand corner. Nothing much at the back, the antenna inputs and the, uh, there's a tone control. Nothing much else. And let's get the back off. Four screws, nothing dramatic. Just keep them safe because you'll need them later. These screws are old, so treat them with respect. And if we get the cover off, what have we got? Well, we've got a bit of uh, dirt that's been burnt in with the heat from the tubes, which considering the space inside this thing, which is minimal, is not surprising. That probably does heat up quite a bit because this thing is incredibly small. So we've got our uh, reference number there, and then we see the inside. And it's got an original schematic, which I think is so cool when they give you the schematic with the radio. The tubes are EF89, EF89, EABC80, preamp and detector, EL84 output tube. We've got the voltage selector there, and we've got the ECC85 in there for the FM. And other than that, and probably less than a liter of uh, air, because <laughs> there's no space in there, it's really crammed, you can't see much else. In fact, you can't see anything else. You can see the speaker in the front there, and that's about it. This thing is so crammed, it's unbelievable. I love it. I really love it. So um, let's get this out of the case and see where we go from here. And here it is. Completely out of the cabinet. All you needed to do was remove the knobs in the front and this thing just slid out the back. This is minimalism to its extreme. Everything is very compact, but it does have everything. It's got a full size FM front end. The speaker looks pretty beefy, so it should uh, produce some pretty good sound. You've got the uh, volume control on the left there, an on-off switch, and the band selector. The actual tuning is done with that uh, rotary face dial. There's a lamp. Power transformer on the left there. The tubes output transformer sitting at the bottom there. So it's all there. The only thing that isn't there is space to work. The 
preamp and uh, detector has got some sort of, it's got a bit of screening on there. I would imagine if you wanted to make any kind of mod here, you'd probably screen those tubes as well. Put one of those caps on and uh, connect the shields to ground. But other than that, nothing wrong with this. The voltage selector allows you to select 150, 115, 220. Obviously, we'll leave it on 220. There's the fuse. That top there is the um, 220 ohm. So, so that's the FM antenna, I believe. Yep, that's it. You see the, the antenna wires going off there? That's the FM. That's the dipole. We've got the AM antenna in there and we've got a tone control over there. Let's look at the underside. So, there's actually a lot of room on the underside, strangely enough. Um, no board, point-to-point -point wiring. We see some good things already. They've got ceramic capacitors on here. These guys normally hold their value, don't leak. We've got a few paper caps. Those will definitely have to go. There's one, two, three, four, at least four that I can see. The turn control is one of those exposed potentiometers over there. Probably a bit of dirt on that one. A little bit of dirt along here, but not much. The filter cap is a 2 by 50 microfarad can. We'll have to see how that is. Some probably 1 watt or 2 watt resistors over here. There's one there, one there. The others are... Uh, these guys here, we'll have to see how they've held out. A few polystyrenes, those are fine, usually. And one electrolytic down there, that'll be the cathode bypass capacitor. I would imagine the electrolytic for the FM decoding is inside the FM can, which I haven't opened yet, and I hope I don't have to. So there doesn't seem to be much. Everything looks original. I don't think this thing has been messed with at all. It's got a selenium rectifier. And just looking at the schematic, this isn't a bridge rectifier. This is a selenium diode. It's a single diode. We'll have to see if that's heating up too much, which means that, uh, which would mean that it's le uh, needing replacement. I'll probably replace it anyway, but then I'll have to drop the voltage down. We shall see what, what comes from looking at this further. There's our uh, pot with a switch. It's it's pretty tight, so this thing needs some contact cleaning. There's one bright solder connection over there, which indicates somebody might have opened this. The switch, all the contacts are visible, so they should be able to allow for cleaning. Everything is geometrically wired here. I noticed that the resistors are actually bent at the right certain angles to get them to fit perfectly. You can see that the uh, Dieter Ram's minimalistic uh, ideal actually passed on to how they've actually laid out this. Everything is meticulous in its simplicity. And it looks very good. I love this. I really love it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to test the output transformer. I'm going to test the power transformer. I've got methods for testing these uh, done on separate videos, which I'll link up above. That just uh, gives me an idea of how serious the damage would be, if any. I'm not going to power it up till I've done some checking. I will then go on to the power supply, see what the rectifier is doing or what the diode is doing, and also the uh, filter capacitors. See if we're getting B plus everywhere see if we're getting heat of voltage everywhere. And once I've got the power supply done, I then move to the power amp stage and then back in the radio to the uh, RF section, AM and then FM. So I think we're ready to move on, move along with this in my usual fashion, with my usual steps. And I hope you follow along. 
I know that um, these radios are a particular genre that some people don't find too um, too dramatic. These little Dieter Rams sets. I love them. I love the simplicity of them. I um, look forward to seeing this thing up and running. And I want to get this thing really meticulously done to get the best sound possible from this little set. And I hope it doesn't disappoint. So if you want to follow along, welcome. And if you like this sort of thing, please share, subscribe, click the bell icon on the subscribe so you get notified of new videos. And if you want to support the channel, you're welcome to do so on Patreon. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.